So I'm Ben Richards, uh, farming at Middle Trillan, um, which is on the Lizard Peninsula down in Cornwall. Uh, we're farming 280 acres, milking 180 cows organic, um, cows milk once a day. Herbal lays are the mainstay. Um, we milk for nine months a year, so uh, the cows are dry December, January, February. Um, then we'll calve them all in March and uh, just milk them off grass for the season. Um, so it's pretty much 100% grazing. Um, and uh, the soil life in the soil has just gone berserk. Um, you know, we're a bit old fashioned, we still go and dig our horse thistles, or Scotch thistles, they want to call them. You dig a thistle up and it's just full of worms and grubs and everything else. Things that we didn't see when we were using chemical. Um, so, uh, going forward, I think the, the next stage for the soils is to try and go towards the fungal soil, um, just so the plants can talk to each other a bit more and uh, help each other out. It's okay. Um, but at the minute, from what we started from and where we've come in the last six year, from doing things in a natural way, uh, has paid dividends. We're, we're growing as much now as we were when we're putting on 200 units of nitrogen. So this is my uh, grazing tree trial. Um, it's been funded by Forest for Cornwall, which is via Cornwall Council. It's something I wanted to do five, six years ago, but uh, no one would buy me the trees. So I don't really like buying things like that. So I had to wait for the, the grant money to come available. Got the approval from Forest for Cornwall. Um, got Steve Evans assigned to me as an advisor. and We had discussed which ones to plant. So we got hybrid poplar, I think that's white poplar there. There's osea in the middle there that doesn't look like there's anything in it, but the osea I'm done as well. Uh, hybrid willow, basket willow, and another row of uh, hybrid poplar over there, I think there is. Um, the rows are the same, there's, there's two separate fields, but they're the same plants in each row. Um, the plan is they've got to have two years to root and get themselves strong enough. And uh, in year three, we'll come in and graze the, the the herbal layer will be grazed in line with the trees, so we'll be grazing them every 40 to 45 days. There's several reasons for doing it. The tree goes a lot taller in grass, so I should get more dry matter production from that square metre of ground than I would with the herbal lay. That's factor one, because dry matter production is still number one concern on this farm. Um, number two, all these fields that they planted in are, are extremely wet, and the trees, again, once they're established, will suck that water out hopefully making the ground in between drier. Uh, I'm trying to encourage my corsial fungi on the farm. Nothing better than trees for that. And they're planted 12 meters apart. Uh, that's close enough for the, the trees to connect or potentially roots to connect. So they can start talking to each other. Um, and uh, the nutritional benefit of the trees. Um, Steve has done some protein tests on the willow, hybrid willow and the hybrid poplar. They've come back at, at 16 and a half and 22% protein. Um, I'd like to get some more detailed analysis on that because again, this is going back to cow health. Um, cows eat trees. If they've got access to trees, they'll eat them. There's a lot of salicylic acid in the willow. Uh, there's tannins and other good stuff in the other trees. And it's again, trying to move on to the next level of, of cow health and giving them even more to self-medicate on um, and there's other benefits to it as well. <laughs>